as a DIY epoxy artist, having a well organized and efficient studio is essential for crafting beautiful, high quality pieces. The intricate work involved in creating epoxy wood crafts requires creativity, skill, and also a workspace that supports your flow. This video will cover every aspect of organizing an epoxy wood craft studio. From choosing the right space and setting up work zones, to selecting essential tools and equipment and implementing safety measures. The first consideration when setting up your epoxy studio is choosing a suitable space. Even if you are working in a relatively small area, organization can make it functional. Ideally, aim for a workspace of at least 150 to 200 square feet. Particularly, if you are working on larger pieces like resin four tabletops, you will need ample room to move freely between zones, store your materials, and work on various projects without feeling cramped. Larger projects, especially those with larger surface areas, will demand space for maneuvering, flipping, and rotating pieces as you work. Proper ventilation is crucial in an epoxy woodcraft studio because epoxy resin can emit harmful fumes during the mixing and curing process. A well-ventilated space helps prevent respiratory issues and creates a healthier work environment. Natural airflow is the best option. So, if your studio has windows, utilize them. If not, invest in mechanical ventilation, such as an exhaust fan or a portable ventilation system. Air purifiers with carbon filters can further improve air quality by removing harmful fumes. Temperature fluctuations can significantly affect the curing process of epoxy resin. So, maintaining consistent climate in your studio is essential. Whether your workspace is in a basement, garage, or separate studio, make sure it's well insulated and equipped with appropriate heating or cooling systems. Rapid temperature changes or working in extreme cold or heat can lead to problems like uneven curing or improper bonding of resin to wood. A well-organized epoxy wood studio should be divided into functional zones, each serving a specific purpose. The preparation zone is where you will do all the necessary measuring, mixing and tinting of your epoxy resin. Set up a dedicated workbench in this area. Preferably, one that is easy to clean and resistant to spills, such as stainless steel or laminated surfaces. Keep your epoxy suppliers, resin, hardness, dyes, and mixing tools organized nearby for quick access. This zone should be separate from high traffic areas to avoid accidental spills or contamination. Once you've prepared your epoxy, it's time to apply it to your wood project. Designate a separate area for pouring and curing your pieces. Dust and debris can easily ruin a florist's epoxy finish. So, ensure this space is dust-free and away from heavy activity. Ideally, this area should be near your preparation zone to minimize the distance you need pouring materials, reducing the chance of spills or accidents during transfers. After your epoxy pieces have cured, you will need a designated area for sanding, polishing and finishing. Sanding can create a lot of dust, which is a nuisance and also a potential health hazard. Invest in a dust collection system or, at the very least, a high-powered vacuum system with a HEPA filter to keep dust under control. This zone should have ample ventilation, lighting and access to sanding and polishing tools. Your studio must also have a well-organized storage zone for raw materials, tools, and finished pieces. Shelving, racks, and cabinets are essential for keeping wood, epoxy, dyes, and other supplies neatly arranged and easily accessible. You also need storage for your finished projects, particularly if they require an extended curing period before they can be moved or shipped. Ensure these storage areas is free of dust and moisture to protect your materials and finished pieces.
Lighting plays a critical role in your ability to work accurately and safely with epoxy and wood. Poor lighting can lead to mistakes, particularly when mixing epoxy, matching colors, or applying finishes. Natural light is ideal for most artistic work because it provides true color rendering and reduces eye strain. If possible, position your workbench near a window to take advantage of natural daylight. However, be cautious with UV exposure, as prolonged exposure to sunlight can affect some epoxy resins over time, causing them to yellow or degrade. Overhead lighting is often insufficient. For the detailed work involved in epoxy crafts, install adjustable task lights or LED strips over your workbench to provide focused lighting where you need it most. Choose the light balance bulb for the most accurate color representation, which is critical when working with pigment and dyes. Some epoxy resins are UV sensitive and require UV light for proper curing. If you are using these types of resins, make sure to equip your studio with UV light specifically designed for curing. Install them in a designated curing zone to ensure your resin cures evenly and consistently. Having the right tools at your disposal is critical for crafting high-quality epoxy wood projects. Your workspace should include steady workbenches and tables that can handle the weights of your project and provide enough surface area for working on large pieces. Adjustable high tables are ideal as they can be raised or lowered to suit different tasks, helping you avoid strain during long work sessions. Accurate mixing is essential to achieving the perfect epoxy resin consistency. Digital skills, graduated mixing caps, and silicon spatulas are critical for measuring and mixing resin and hardness in precise ratios. Dedicate a specific area of your studio to mixing, away from dust and debris to avoid contamination. Epoxy needs to be applied on a level surface for the best results. Keep bubble levels, leveling mats, and shims on hand to ensure your project cure flat and even. Clamps are useful for securing wood pieces while the epoxy cures, preventing movements that could lead to imperfections. Air bubbles can mar the surface of your epoxy. So, having a heat gun or propane torch is essential for releasing trapped air. Keep these tools in a safe, easy to access location so you can quickly smooth out your epoxy surface before it begins to set. Sanding is an essential step in finishing epoxy projects and having the right tools can make the process smoother and more efficient. Invest in a variety of sandpaper grits ranging from coarse to fine. Orbital sanders and polishing parts. These tools will help you achieve a glossy smooth finish on your cured epoxy pieces. Sanding epoxy produces a fine dust that can be harmful to both your health and the quality of your work. A dust collection system, whether built in or portable, will keep the air clean and prevent dust from contaminating and cured resin. Look for systems with HEPA filters for the best results to keep your workspace organized. Install peg boards, two racks, and magnetic strips for your hand tools. This will allow you to keep frequently used tools within easy reach, reducing the time you spend searching for items and helping to maintain a clutter-free environment. Keeping your studio clean and organized is key to maintaining a productive and safe environment. At the end of each week, take the time to clean your workspace thoroughly. Wipe down workbenches, sweep the floors, and clean your tools to remove any dust, debris, or resin. Using a vacuum with a HEPA filter will help trap fine dust particles, while microfiber cloths are ideal for wiping down surfaces without leaving streaks. Epoxy resin can be difficult to remove once it cures, so clean up spills immediately with acetone or isopropyl alcohol. Keep cleaning supplies like paper towels, plastic scrapers, and clean solvents readily available. It's much easier to clean up wet resin than to scrap off hardened spills later. Dust is the enemy of epoxy work. 
So regular dust management is a must. Implement a daily or weekly dusting routine and consider using tack cloth to clean surfaces before each resin pour. This will ensure that your workspace remains dust free, reducing the risk of imperfections in your finished projects. Working with epoxy resin involves some inherent risk, so it's crucial to implement appropriate safety measures to protect yourself and others in your workspace. Always wear personal protective equipment when working with epoxy, particularly when mixing, applying or sanding resin. Gloves, safety glasses, and a respirator are essential to prevent skin irritation, eye injuries and respiratory issues from fumes or dust. If you use heat guns or propane torches in your studio, fire safety is a priority. Keep a fire extinguisher nearby and make sure all electrical equipment is properly installed and maintained. Avoid overloading circuits or using damaged power cords to minimize the risk of fire. Epoxy resins, solvents, and other chemicals can be hazardous if not handled properly. Store these materials in a well-ventilated area, preferably in fireproof cabinets if you are working with flammable substances. Label all containers clearly and keep material safety data sheets on hand for reference in case of an emergency. Accidents can happen, so it's essential to have a well-stocked first aid kit in your studio. Include items like burn cream, adhesive bandages, eye wash, and any other supplies that could be needed to treat minor injuries. Make sure the kit is easily accessible and regularly restocked with the right organization, safety precautions, and thoughtful layouts. Your Epoxy Woodcraft Studio can become a space where creativity flourishes and high quality pieces come to life. Now that you know the essentials of setting up your workspace, you can focus on what matters most. Crafting beautiful, one-of-a-kind epoxy arts. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this.